So we'll just try something here. This is that um, colony that I've got in the greenhouse that I just did a cutout on. And I noticed they had basically no pollen stores at all, which means very little brood rearing that they're going to you know, even try to take on. So I've got a bag of, um, oh, Mega Bee, I think. I can't remember now. Um, artificial pollen. And I bought it months and months and months ago just to see how they would do with it. And I never have put it out. I never have used it. Uh, so I went and got just a little lid full of it here, and I'll just see what they do. I mean, uh, these bees, you know, this should be a good test because they should want it, but, you know, given the factors, um, I don't know if they'll if they'll come looking for it or not. You know, they're pretty shook up right now from all of the cut out and being moved and shuffled around. So, you know, foraging probably isn't the first thing on their mind right now, but we'll just leave it there. So they've got some pollen, they've got some honey. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to leave them in here for a couple days and see it's going to be really crappy cold weather outside for the next couple days. So they would have done nothing but cluster up. So hopefully having them in here will kind of spark them to come and get the food and, and take what they need and kind of bounce back from the stress of the cutout. Well, I'll tell you guys, I set the, um, the artificial pollen down here. I had it sitting down here by the entrance and they weren't just going after it like crazy like I thought they were like I thought they would. Um, I don't know if they were hitting it on their own time or not, but I never seen any in there. What I did was I came in here and I sprinkled some through this top lid where I would normally put a uh, sugar water jar and I could see some of them taking it now. So, you know, I don't know if they're just being more opportunistic or what, but they are taking it, which hopefully as they begin to eat it and realize they like it, then more and more of them will come and get it and then they'll then they'll seek this out, you know, because they'll recognize that taste and that smell. That's kind of my hope, but, you know, it's not that I want to, it's not that I want to train my bees to be dependent upon artificial pollen, obviously, um, but I wanted to kind of test with myself to see if they would take it. Okay, yes, they will when presented to them easily, but this kind of gives me an idea, you know, if I know I have weak, struggling colonies, is this something that I could do through the winter is... You know, bring them in here where it's warmer and basically force feed them pollen, sugar water, whatever to help, uh, you know, build them up. Because the ones, the weaker colonies that I have out in the yard, it's cool outside, you know, it's cold outside. They're not going to break cluster to get the feed. Even if I'm feeding them, they don't break the cluster to take it. So, you know, what is it that I got to do to get these girls to eat basically is what I'm working on. So it looks like, you know, if I, if I sprinkle the pollen in there and basically cram it down their throat, they'll take it. So I think I'm going to give them a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, look at that. You can actually see that one bee right up front. You can see she's got some on her on her legs. She's putting it on her pollen basket. That's actually really cool. I've never seen one stop and do that, but she's kicking it onto her legs right now. So that's good. She's loading up with it, and she'll take it down there into the frames and um, kick it off in an empty cell where it belongs. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to give them some more because it looks like they're feeding on it pretty well. So last night, uh, about 24 hours ago, before I went in the house for the night, I, uh, went on top here and sprinkled in more of that artificial protein or the artificial pollen and uh, I pretty much had the tops of the frames covered with it and you can see now they've cleared off well over half I mean it was all over here they cleared off all that they cleared off what was on that part of that frame and what was on this part of this frame over here and you can see there's right now there's a you know a handful of bees are all right here working on it. there's four or five bees right there and they're all right up here taking that pollen. They're all um, working on it with their mandibles. And best I can figure, ingesting it. I don't necessarily see them putting it away on their back legs. Um, but they're definitely taking it. And I'm looking at my little disc over here. I'm not for sure that they've been in and out of it today. They maybe have. I don't see any in there right now. But it looks kind of smoothed over, like maybe it's been stirred around a little bit. But I might have just done that with my finger when I knocked in the hole up here, but you know I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and uh, I'm gonna put some more in up here and uh, just keep giving it to them, you know, to to make sure they've got it and hopefully they keep packing it away and it really helps them rebound.